Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and this is going to be another episode of Let's Create in Spore. Today we're going to be looking at one of your suggestions which I really loved, which is going to be Jake the Dog from Adventure Time. I absolutely love Adventure Time so I'm very happy to be doing this this episode. Remember if you want your creation to be picked for the next episode, all you have to do is leave a comment in the video below. So let's get on with this. First of all I always like to start by changing the colour so I can actually get a good view of exactly what we're doing. And I think Jake is sort of like a, he's actually more of an orangey yellow, so something more like this. That seems good. Okay, so let's now go back into the build menu. So, first of all, Jake is an upright dog. He's not like a normal dog that you would expect to find somewhere else. He's also kind of stumpy as well. <laughs> Poor old Jake. He hasn't been to the gym for a little while. So, we're going to go with sort of a short blobby body. Something like this, if I can sort the spine out. I do have to admit, the spine is always the most difficult part in my mind. As well as the legs, actually. And he has a fairly simple shape, which is going to be sort of like two... He's sort of like two blobs stuck together. So I'm going to make him a bit smaller in the middle, and then sort of a bit fatter here and here. Something like this, which is going to look a bit weird, but I think this is pretty much his shape. <laughs> okay, pretty simple to start with. Now let's just move this off the ground a little bit, and I'm just going to move the spine slightly just to get him a bit more standing upright. And then at the top, we're also going to move him forwards just a little bit. There we go. Right, okay, is that right? Kind of looks a bit top-heavy. Maybe what we'll do then is make him a bit more bottom-heavy. Yeah, okay, we'll go with this, right? That seems fine. So, this, I think this is going to be a surprisingly simple build, actually. Considering, like, most cartoon characters, like I did Bulbasaur last episode, most cartoon characters or anime characters are going to be, like, fairly blocky colours and shapes. But I do love them, so we're not going to complain too much. So, first of all, we're going to go with the arms. The arms are going to be, again, sort of fairly simple. They start sort of on the front of his body, weirdly. And they also, I think these hands are fairly well suited, strangely enough. So we're going to make these a bit thinner and we're going to bring them around the front of his body. Something like this, if we can. And then bring them up here. The, the picture I'm going off, I am going off for picture this time because I feel as though it's probably a, a good idea not to just wing it each time. But they sort of come around the front like that. Okay, I think that's probably okay. Maybe the top of his arm's a bit wider and bring these up like this. Yeah, I think that's okay. Maybe if we move the arms down a little bit more. There we go. Good stuff. Again, the hands are surprisingly accurate as well, so I'm going to leave those as they are. Jake's hands are sort of like... His fingers are blobby, sort of... He's only got three fingers as well, I believe. So that's that's fine with us. Okay, and then for the legs, we're also going to go for the plain Brawnysaurus legs. A little bit like this. His feet, I think we're going to change. But we're going to stick with these form of legs. We're going to move them up a little bit as well. And we want them, first of all, to make them a bit sort of straighter. He kind of looks like he's riding a horse awkwardly or he's had a bad case of diarrhea. But at this, at this point in time, this is fine. So we're going to make these a lot thinner as well because his legs are also quite thin. Maybe something like that. That seems good in terms of the proportions. And we're going to move these down. It's so difficult with these bloody legs to get them straight enough, isn't it? Maybe something like this. I'm also going to want to move them in slightly like that. They seem a bit thin. But I suppose they are quite thin in the in the program. So there we go. That seems okay. <laughs> they are his leg joints are kind of going to the side a little bit as well. So maybe we want to move that slightly. There we go. Right, perfect. <laughs> So now what we want to do is we want to find some suitable feet. Now Jake's feet are kind of just like little blobs. So I was thinking maybe we go for these suck sucto peds, although they do kind of look a bit... Uh, I'm not sure about that, that's a bit strange, isn't it? We could even go for these and see if we can get rid of the nails. I'm not sure how much we can get rid of these nails. Maybe something like this. I mean, you have to remember, with Spore, there's only so much you can actually do with the character creation. So yeah, I'm going to use that as my excuse. The most interesting part of this, I think, is going to be the face, so we're going to do that last. In terms of the tail, again, I'm going to use the arm trick, and we're going to put a single arm on here, get rid of the hands, merge these together. We are going to get rid of this section here. Merge these together, if we can, into one little section like that, make this very thin, and then make it a bit fatter. I don't know, I think that seems pretty good. And if we move this down to here, and then move this so that it faces upwards a little bit, Okay, well, that's going to have to do for the tail. 
I mean, alternatively, we could go for something in here, which could act as a tail. Maybe one of these horns, but then it won't match the colour scheme colour. So yeah, I think that's probably as close as I'm going to get it. Okay, so next up is the face. Now we have two big eyes, and strangely enough, if this one was back to front, so the black was on the outside and the white was on the inside, that would look perfect. And I'm wondering whether we can craft these eyes ourselves, actually. So if we just make these black ones really big, like this... <laughs> oh my god. Agura! And then we put on... Maybe we could even... I was thinking maybe we could uh, use some like arms and stick them out so that he looks like he's got the white pupils. But I don't think that's really going to work at the end of the day. So we're going to have to try and craft this some other way with something white. And whether or not it's actually going to be white is another issue. I'm wondering if we can trick this somehow using these things. And in fact, I'm going to try it because I think we have to take a bit of a risk here. So we're going to make these really big, like that, and then we're going to move these into the centre of this. Oh god, that looks really dreadful, doesn't it? It kind of looks... that's really scary, actually. Ugh! <laughs> what have I created? This is terrible. <laughs> okay, I don't think we can really use these. So we're going to have to take a bit of a hit on the type of eyes that we're going to use. Maybe, actually, there might be something in the cell stage that looks a bit better. So, white with the black in the centre. Maybe... Oh, God, this is... Yeah, I mean... We could go for something like that. This is part of Better Spore, by the way, so you won't be able to find these on the normal Spore creator. Again, it's the opposite way round, but there's not really much that we can do about it, so let's just use these for now so we can sort out the rest of the face. So, for the nose, we have a kind of just, like, plain black dot nose. So maybe we could even just use this. Or even this one would be quite good, because it sticks out a little bit. And we are going to want to use... Oh, but it is going to blink like that as well. Tell you what this looks like. It looks like Mr. Chips from Catchphrase, if you ever watched that program. So we're going to need the droopy bit around his nose, which is hopefully going to make this look a hell of a lot better. I don't think we can use those eyes realistically. I think the, the black eyes even look better than those. So we're going to go for this. And we're going to make these fairly big. Something like this. And of course, we can't miss off the ears either, so that's one thing that we need to not forget. So maybe if that's what we're doing for that, we can use this for the nose, but then we need something for his sort of snout. So if we go for something like this, maybe I'm thinking we can rotate this around a little bit, make it a bit flatter against his body, and maybe make it a little bit less short. Oh yeah, look at this. This is fantastic. This is exactly what I needed. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make these a bit smaller and see if we can find something to connect them in the middle, which won't make too much of an intrusive sort of mark on his character. So it's looking a bit rubbish. Just bear with me. It's all about the final result. So I'm thinking if we put an arm in the middle. I love this arm trick. It's like the best thing in the world. Okay, and we're going to get rid of this joint here. Make this... I'm actually wondering whether this arm would look better than this in general? And I think the answer is yes. So we're going to make this a bit smaller, make it a bit smaller at the joint here as well, like that, and then try and rotate it downwards as much as we can. That doesn't look dreadful. <laughs> I actually kind of preferred the other thing, so I'm not sure whether I really wanted to get rid of that. I think that's probably the best that we're going to be able to get this. There's not really anything that is a U-shape in this game that we could put around his nose like here. This nose is possibly fine. It's, it's probably going to give it more the impression if we move the nose up a little bit, because then he's only got a little mouth around the middle here. So I think that's fine, and I've actually had a really good idea for how we can do the pupils of his black eyes. And it's using these bone plates, and look at this. It actually sort of gives the impression that that's his pupil. And especially if we move it around a little bit like this. Yeah, look at that. That actually kind of works, although it, his eyes are very bulgy. But it does look pretty good. <laughs> okay, so now let's find a mouth. And hopefully this is going to just top it off, you know, make it so brilliant that you just won't even know the difference between the TV series and what's going on here. So we want to just like a plain mouth that we can merge in. This is going to look really too big, and I understand that. I think we also need to make it a little bit less... I suppose this kind of gives the impression of jowls, sort of. God, it looks dreadful when he blinks, but we're, we're going to ignore that as well, because we don't, really need to, <laughs> we don't really need to worry about what he looks like when he blinks. I'm wondering if that's a bit bad. There's probably a better mouth for this, isn't there? 
something like this. I'm not sure if that actually is better. I kind of like the first one that we used. So let's go with this one. Okay, yeah, look at that. That looks a lot better. So, I mean, it is recognisable if you sort of squint very hardly. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to give him his final ears, and we're going to do that using the arm trick again. I would definitely recommend this trick. I've not really used it in any of the series that I've recorded for Spore, but it does work very well, and you can create this sort of really good impression of a lot of detail that you possibly wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So if we do this, and then we want to just basically bring it in a little bit, make it a bit smaller, bring that down a little bit like... Well, you know, I, I'm going to say, this is not the worst thing that I've ever seen. It looks fairly good, actually. I mean, considering it again, it looks dread. I will admit, it looks dreadful when he blinks, because his nose is actually an eye, and his two eyes sort of pass between his bony pupils. But when he's standing completely still, it looks pretty damn good, actually. I think the jowls actually do work, now that I've crushed all of the nose and the mouth in. It gives the impression of what I was going for, and the ears... Pretty much the best that you can do. The towel's okay, and all of the limbs, obviously, pretty much exactly how he is in real life, as well as his body shape. And the colour already, again, I say this, because he's a cartoon character, he's just a block yellow colour, and that's pretty accurate as to the colour he actually is. So let's just give him a name. So we're going to call him Jake. His full title is Jake the Dog, so I suppose we call him that. He is terrifyingly accurate this time. I'm, I'm going to claim with all due confidence that this is actually an accurate repre representation of what he looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to take him on a test run, as always, just to see how he fares in the real world. And look at him, Jake the Dog in Spore. It's pretty cool, actually, I will admit. <laughs> and he kind of walks in the way he does in the series as well, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Oh, yeah, look at them. He's just strutting his stuff. Don't mess with Jake the dog. Okay, well this has been Let's Create in Spore. As I said, if you want your builds featured in this series, then all you have to do is leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Also, leaving ratings really helps out the series and will encourage me to do it more often. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.